So as I mentioned a while back, sometimes straws that are compostable are worse. But I still try to use them just because I feel like it's something I can do to help the environment. Even though things that individual people do don't really matter. Whatever. Um, so the whole discourse about using straws and how straws are bad for the environment and we should all just ban straws or stop using them or use reusable straws, it's not very disability friendly. I don't have anything super original to say about this, so I'm going to link to two things. Um, Jessica Kellgren Fozard has a great video where she discusses this, like, you know, from every angle. She just really talks about why it's kind of ableist, and she goes through every kind of, like, politically correct straw alternative, like reusable straws and compostable straws, and she just explains, like, for each thing, there's reasons why they may be inaccessible to some people. So you shouldn't say, you know, everybody can give up straws. It's just not true. The other thing I'm going to link is by Alice Wong. It's a piece about how restaurants already aren't always physically accessible to her because she uses a wheelchair and um, because now they also don't have straws a lot of the time, that's like another accessibility issue for her. Um, as somebody who's a support worker for someone who's physically disabled, my boss can't use straws, but I can really relate to how if you go to a restaurant and you have to, if I have to ask for like a ton of extra things and feel like I'm really imposing on the workers just to be able to feed her, it makes me feel uncomfortable and like not welcome. And um, it's kind of better to just make people feel welcome. Like, it's just like if you sort of don't think about the needs of disabled customers that makes them not want to go to your establishment, that's all, you know? Like, even if things are technically available, having to ask for something every time when it's something that other people would just be given, like, can be kind of a burden and just make people feel not comfortable or make people not want to go out. That's all. Um, yeah. Anyways, that isn't my personal situation. I, um, I can lift a cup to my mouth. I, um... I'm a bit uncoordinated, so sometimes when I'm drinking out of a cup, it's kind of common for me to spill it, um, choke on what I'm drinking, or gag on what I'm drinking, especially if I'm, like, walking around or on the bus or something like that. So, um, I always use straws. I can't really relate to people saying, like, oh, you don't need straws, you could just give them up. Like, I would really struggle if I couldn't use straws. But I was, you know, straw discourse became such a big thing that I did start thinking about it. I was like, okay, I do need to use straws. I don't think reusable straws are realistic for me. Cleaning them seems like more work than I could really do. But, like, I could try compostable straws. And I've been using, um, a mason jar to drink my coffee in for a long time. And, um, it's a lot more convenient than using, like, a plastic cup. Because you can't spill it, you can seal it, it's a lot easier to hold, it's like much harder to knock over, so it's basically really convenient, but I also feel good that I'm not wasting as much plastic, even though, like I said, things that individual people do, like, hardly matter, but whatever. So, um, I probably shouldn't be saying that in this video. Anyways, I was thinking about it, and I realized that I didn't ever try using compostable straws, so I started to use them. The best thing about them is that I can keep them in this holographic pencil tin. The worst thing about them is that they're a little bit bigger than the pencil tin, so um, I have to put them in diagonally. And like, I don't even know, but just at the moment that I get out my pencil tin, I feel really cool and I think there's going to be something really cool in it. And like when I get them out like in public, I'm like, but it's just straws. So the first kind of straw that I tried was by World Centric and it's a corn straw. This surprised me because I thought all compostable straws were like paper straws. But um, this straw is kind of hard, and um, it feels a lot like a plastic straw, and it tastes just like a plastic straw. Um, the thing about it is that it's so brittle and hard. That first of all, if you had certain mobility issues, maybe you shouldn't use it because it could just like stab you if you like move suddenly or something. And um, if you're gonna fold it up to like put it away in your mason jar or whatever, you have to be careful because if you, um, yeah, if you. You could just kind of break it if you're not careful. But you could kind of fold it up if you're careful and then just kind of straighten it out. But you definitely can't fold it up and, like, drink out of it. That wouldn't work. The main thing about this is because they are, like, 
they can't be composted in like your own compost pile in your backyard. They have to be done in a facility. So you have to live somewhere that has compost. But I do. But another thing is if you put them in a compost bag, they're so sharp that they'll stop the bag. So you have to cut them up. That's kind of annoying. The thing that I worry about is just that I feel like they don't really read as compostable straws. They look too much like normal straws. So I personally would always be afraid to throw these out at like a coffee shop or somebody's house or just to like leave them on the table in a restaurant because I would feel that people won't compost them because you just can't tell. I don't know. There's good and bad things about them. The other kind is the more stereotypical kind of compostable straw, the paper straw. Um, the main thing is it makes everything taste like paper. I personally like the taste of paper, but that's just a warning. It does taste like paper. Um, they definitely get soggy. I don't find this to be as big an issue as some people do. Like, I get why it could be a problem, but for me, like, I don't need to use one all day. I can go through a few in a day, and I feel like that's probably still better than, like, creating trash with, like, a plastic straw. At least I can compost these. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know about that, I guess. But, you know, I'll put it in. It gets wet. I just turn it over. I take it out to dry for a while, and it isn't that bad. So, th these are my reviews. Corn straws and paper straws. They're both doable for me. They may not work for everyone, but they're something that, like, you might want to try. I got these at Party City, and, um, when I first got them, it was on October 20th, and, um, the poor lady that worked at Party City was being forced to, um, participate in this kind of Halloween behavior. Like, she was dressed in a cat costume, even though it was, like, 9 in the morning, and she had to say Happy Halloween to me. But, um, Party City is exciting. Like, they have a whole party supplies aisle, and it's organized by color. So, first they have all the blue plates and the blue straws, and they have all the purple plates and the purple straws, etc. And you can pick out whatever color you want. So that's where I got these. You, you can see some of the problems inherent here. But, like, they are kind of fun. It's still true, though, that when I'm at coffee shops and I see, like, the regular plastic bad straws... Like, sometimes I just think about the fact that they would be so easy to use, and they wouldn't break, and they wouldn't get soggy, and they wouldn't taste like paper, and I would only be tasting my coffee, and I really want to take them and have a regular straw for just one day, and so I do.